What's happening guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how the Remix 1.7 ROM feels on the Samsung Galaxy SL i9003. At the point of making this video, this ROM is based on the latest release of Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha 14 which is one of the most stable custom ROMs of Ice Cream Sandwich for this device. Here we have the boot up screen of the Remix ROM which usually takes around 40 seconds to boot up as you can see in this video. This ROM has been developed keeping in mind the look and feel of the Samsung Galaxy S3 since it's based on the CM9 Alpha 14 platform. This is a daily usable ROM and has just a few bugs. It also gives a good battery backup and lasts for around 15 to 20 hours with heavy usage. The lock screen is typical ICS and the home screen comes with a weather widget by default. The notification panel is transparent and looks very neat. The settings in about phone on this device shows that it runs Android version 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich. Toggling between the home screens is flawless with zero to minuscule lag. There are a total of 7 screens and you can make any of those as your home screen. This ROM comes in a very lean shape with apps like Google Maps, Gmail and YouTube missing. You can however download and install them from the Play Store. The interface is very smooth on this ROM, I haven't faced any lag to mention about so far. The phone dialer also has large buttons for ease of making a call. Pressing and holding the home button brings you to the task manager where you can slide the running programs to kill them. I would have also liked a kill all button but couldn't find one on this ROM. Going on to the settings, you can see that Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and 2G work flawlessly here without any bugs. However, if I go on to enable tethering and portable hotspot, it gets stuck. This is a known bug in CM9 which can be fixed by using any of the numerous third-party applications that can be downloaded from the Play Store. The airplane mode also works great without any problems. You can see here the tethering bug will not even allow me to switch on Wi-Fi anymore. So I will have to now reboot my device. Let's go ahead and run a full benchmark test on this device and see if there's any noticeable difference due to the lean ROM and other features. I'm gonna fast forward it for you and uh, we'll come back with the results. Well, as expected, the device is right in the end with a score of 1180. That's most probably because this device is currently not overclocked. Let me now show you some of the bugs that I found on its camera interface. The rear camera takes 5 megapixel pictures with touch to focus and zooming in and out working perfectly. The pictures come out as good as they are on any stock ROM. The video camera however continues the same bug of recording at low frame rates.
The front facing camera also continues the same bug of CM9 with a distorted display ratio as you can see here. I hope a solution to these bugs come out soon with kernel 3 being developed at XDA. Overall I have found this ROM to be a great daily usable ROM with a few bugs that I can ignore. I hope this video was useful to you. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions you'd like to ask. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you.